Is this thing on? Okay. So, my name is Nina, and I'm a makeup artist. And for the longest time, I've been deciding to get a makeup channel on YouTube. And what perfect time than quarantine number 10? I don't know. I don't know what time is anyways. So, for my first tutorial, I got inspired by Alexa Demi and her love for like 90s vibe and also like a hybrid between this 90s sultry look and like some some cut creases I guess. Keep on watching if you'd like to see how I achieve this look and also subscribe and like and comment down below what you liked and what you didn't like. Well please what you like because <laughs> that'd be great. So I hope you join the Nina family and I'll see you soon. Enjoy. Bye bye. Hi Nina. I I'll try not to look at the little screen up here. I'll try to look in here but it's really really hard to focus when I see my face over there. But okay. Hi everyone. So this is my first makeup tutorial um, live. Well on YouTube at least so if any of you are mean I'm gonna tell my mom okay she's gonna come for all of you I already prepped, prepped my face with the Galita skin food um, skin food cream and then what I'm gonna do I will prime my face with the benefit primer because I have really big pores and uh, acne scarring and that helps with that and I have my little mirror here on this side, so I'm just gonna look at there and, you know, hope for the best that you can see anything. Next thing, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start with the eyes, because the eyes are the most important thing in this look. So what I'll do, I'm not gonna use a primer, usually I do, but I will start with, um, with a concealer, you can you just use any concealer I'm just using the elf one I find it very very good um, we're gonna tap that in because we really 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 want a black I mean a blank well, canvas um, and this look is pretty well it's kind of sculptured is that close enough because I can go closer I think that's close enough I'm gonna use the Shade and Light palette uh, by Kat Von D, um, and I find this very good for um, just everything really. I use it for my face, I use it for my brows, well, for my brows a lot, it's been really really helpful. I'm just gonna set my, um, my, my concealer with this. I'm gonna use a simple brush to combine the white color and the banana color. And don't worry about the fallout, it doesn't really matter. It really reminds me of the 90s, of that sculpted look, and it's really, really amazing um, how the 90s and the two th early th 2000s are making a comeback. In fashion, well, I mean, it's been a few years in the making, I guess, the last two years or something like that. But um, I'm gonna go up to my eyebrow just because that part should also be um, quite, I guess, detailed. I want my eyebrows to pop out. I think that it's quite remarkable what fashion and makeup. Um, can do to the world it's really all about the 90s the 2000s and it's it's been a, an, an amazing era for fashion makeup and just everything I guess everything at that time has become iconic so that's amazing I'm gonna go in with just like a um, detailing brush and I'm just gonna use a couple of different um, cool toned colors. Really, we want it to be kind of poofed out. So, I'm gonna go over here, start here. 
you know, my eyelids are very small. Um, but that's not gonna stop me to do this look. I don't care. Just kind of want to make it a bit cut creasy, but not that much. Here's where you can choose what you want to use. You can either use a black pencil and just make that cat eye shape, or you can use a liquid eyeliner. Now, I hope mine isn't all the way dried out. We'll see about that. I'm just using the Catrice one. Uh, it's the matte and it's called Dating Joe Black. It's, I find it super easy um, to use it. and don't have shit that I need. Well, oh well. So I'm gonna map out where that cut crease should be. definitely has white eyeliner on, so... Now what I'm doing is I'm using my mascara. Obviously, the sun's going down and the camera is just shifting, even though I have a ring light, so... Whatever. For my foundation, I'm gonna mix the Fenty foundations. Okay, now I'm just gonna pat. Now, I love, 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 love full coverage. So, um, if you don't, of course, you can go lighter um, on your coverage. But me, I'm just gonna go full coverage because I'm a full coverage mommy. Okay, here's where I stop um, and go in with my concealer. It's the elf one again. So oh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the just a, a matte um, sculpting kind of powder because she has the sculpted face at all times. So that's what we're gonna do here, and I'm just gonna go quite generously with that, and I'm just gonna push it up, 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 because everything needs to be up. We don't want to drag the face down. We really want it to be there. I'm just using a sleek makeup contour kit. Doesn't really matter what it is. You can go, you could even go with like a cream and then with powder, you know. So you can do whatever you want, whatever feels comfortable to you, whatever makes you comfortable. So you see, we really want that sleekness. We're back, we're back, we're back. Okay, so my camera stopped working for some reason. I don't know why. Gonna use the same Kat Von D shade and light palette and just gonna use a brush to fill my brows in. She has very bushy brows in this picture and I have pushy brows always, so perfect. Win win. So now, the most crucial part for me is using a brow filler, and this one has these little cute fibers inside. Did I say cute fibers? Cool. Just fibers, regular fibers, and it really makes the brow bushy. Do you see that? This is amazing. Um, it's one of my favorite brow products. I have been using it for probably like two years. Occasionally, I'll use its sister, which is the clear one. Um, but 
I only use it later to glue my brows down. I, I'll, I'll show you that later as well. So, you take it. I use it with the flat, with the flatter side. Because it gives you more product. So, I leave that just like a few seconds so that it marinates on my brow hairs. And then, I'll use my fingers. Just kind of glue it down. Just push it on the skin and glue it down. You know? And it will be in place the whole day. It's it's really good. Okay, now in this picture I don't really see a lot going on regarding blush. So I'm just gonna put something peachy that goes with the with the lips. I'm just gonna use the Glossier because it's a beautiful peach and bean. Now, I'm going in with highlight. She probably has highlight on, but it's not that visible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in with the highlighter and I'm just using the Dior one and I'm mixing the two lighter colors and I'm just gonna place that because it's it's it is a highlight but it's not in your face of a highlight and I just don't want that aggressive highlight look with this look okay so for the lips I'm using max cork it makes a wonderful kind of sculpted look I would use the stone one but I lost it so I don't know where it is and I'm gonna use the Shanghai Spice um, lipstick it's amazing amazing and the easiest way to get in these like little lines is just to smile creepily like that and go in using my finger again and just really like blend those two together okay so this is it for the look this is the, the finished look so thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time Then you're the family, huh?